I hope Zoe likes her birthday cake. At least if it's a disaster, you can use those artistic skills of yours to frost some birthday charm into the cake. Aw, oh, come on. It won't be a disaster. How hard can it be, right? We'll just follow the recipe. It's pretty sweet how just mixing a bunch of different ingredients together like this can make a totally new thing, huh? It's totally sweet. Mixing up ingredients for a cake is a lot like what the universe does when it combines elements to make compounds. We're making a cake, Mia. Don't get all sciencey on me. It's true. When two or more elements are combined and a chemical reaction occurs, a brand new substance is created. That brand new substance is called a compound. It's sort of like this cake. Mia, this cake is a yummy and delicious treat made of eggs, milk, flour, sugar. Yeah, and the ingredients we combine to make a cake are like the elements that make up a compound. Elements are substances that cannot be broken down into something simpler. When we combine the ingredients and bake the cake in the oven, a chemical reaction occurs to make a compound. A cake. So, elements are the ingredients for the universe? Kinda, yeah. The universe combines elements to make compounds. There are 118 elements and they're each listed on the periodic table. Every element has a symbol too, like O for oxygen, or H for hydrogen. That's a lot of ingredients. I know. When we combine ingredients to make a cake, it's called a recipe. When elements combine to make a compound, it's called a chemical formula. That sounds a lot more serious. Not always. A chemical formula just shows the composition of the compound. Ever hear of H2O? Uh, yeah. It's water, right? Yep. H2O is the chemical formula for water. Water is a compound. Its ingredients, the elements from the periodic table that make it up, are hydrogen and oxygen. H is the symbol for hydrogen. There are two atoms of hydrogen in water, so the chemical formula shows a two after the H symbol. That number is called a subscript. There is one atom of oxygen, so its O symbol is enough to tell us that. Put it all together and H2O equals water. Are there chemical formulas for everything? Every compound, yes. Salt is a compound too. It's called sodium chloride because it's made from the elements sodium and chlorine. So its chemical formula shows the symbols for those two elements together, NaCl. Chemical formulas really are like recipes. You were right, the cake is like a compound. Little Miss Scientist strikes again. See? Now it's your turn to explain, Sam. All right, let's see if I've got the art of elements and compounds down to a science. An element is as simple as it gets. Elements are substances that can't be broken down into anything simpler. There are 118 elements, and they're all listed on the periodic table. Elements are combined to form compounds, totally different new substances. The recipe for a compound is called a chemical formula. Chemical formulas show the symbols for the elements that make up a compound, and subscripts that tell us how many atoms of each element are needed to make the compound. There! Easy as pie. Don't you mean piece of cake? <laughs> <laughs>